Right, today I want to talk to you about coccidosis. Chickens, right, if you're looking here, watch this. See, they're all jumpy. I'll, I'll check them anyway. It's not a good way to show. But in here, right, look at the size of all these beds. Silkies, yeah? So, pretty small anyway. Look at this. Look at this bed here. Random bed. Quiet as a mouse. Look, these are all, these are, that one's probably related to it. All peakings and stuff. Right, so this one, look, is tiny. Quiet, but, is it still walking? Is it still walking, son? Still walking? Still walking? Right, well, anyway, you'll get a random bed for no reason. That's coccidosis. So, look, come on. Look, lethargic, stops eating everything else, right? So, I'm going to teach you, or show you, how to treat it, and it costs nothing really right you can use sulfur normal sulfur it's not very good doing it that way or you can use you can use a thing called emollium and you get it from you get it from ebay right problem with this little guy is he's probably had coxidosis he, he's probably had that for quite a while that's definitely coxidosis he's, he's three or four weeks old no maybe four weeks old a lot smaller than the rest and not doing nothing. So if it just dropped dead, then you'd think it was something else. But it was a bit quiet easy and I started to notice it. Right, so what we do, this is emollium. You can get it off eBay. I get it in, I get it off the vet in decent sized boxes. But you only need that to treat all of that. So what I do is stick it in there. Like that, stick it in there. Give it a shove in. I would have usually took it off, but I'm trying to hold the foam with one hand and do it with the other. Right, so give that a mix. That is all you need, the tiniest little bits. So what you can do, what a lot of chicken people do, if they're not going to vaccinate, because you can vaccinate against it, is um, just add a bit to the water. I'm trying to get away from vaccinating too much stuff because people give loads of shit about vaccinating. It just seems like an asshole. Right, because he's too small to get his head in there, We'll give him a drink. Give him a drink near here so he gets a bit more of it. So he's, he's, he's got a bit. He's got a bit of life in him. Yeah, and then that emollium, and there's another called tot tetrazuril. That gets rid of it as well, and you'll get rid of coxidosis in 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 one day. So basically, that goes through their intestines, and the sulphur will kill. The, the worms, it's a type of worm, I think. Um, I don't know the exact thing of it. But, you know, usually with these birds, the reason that they die is because they stop eating and drinking. So if you just come out and give him a give him a little drink, that will get rid of it. I mean, if you feel the, feel the crop, you know, he's, he's probably just hungry, so give him a little drink. And that's it. So Totrazuril or emol uh, emolium, and then he should be, well I hope, he should be alright, but the, you usually don't realise that they're, re like they're getting a bit down until um, until they're already down. You having a, you have a nice drink? Let's have a look. Go on then, let's have a look. Yeah, typical. Ruffle, ruffled feathers is a good sign. It's a shame that, because it's, nice uh, it's a nice little peaking. But yeah, ruffle feathers lethargic not doing much and a lot smaller but i will tell you you need to treat all your birds together with this um with this sulfur because basically this one would have been laying eggs the eggs from the coccidosis and uh the other birds pick them up and scratch them and everything else and i do clean the bedding pretty regular i mean so that's like a good way to stop it but i do clean them I do clean them every three days. I can't really do it any more than I do. So yeah, that might be all right now. Just give him a drink. He might be uh, he might be running around tomorrow. That's it, go on, son. Because that's the problem, the stop eating drink. So there you go, bit of basic 101. Ideally, with chicks, 
And I do feed them a, a feed with um, thingy, but this is the problem, look. I've just filled it up 10 minutes ago and the poo in the feed and then another one eats it. And there's not really anything you can do. I've tried different feeders and everything, they still do it. But you can see the difference between them. Look, these, these ones are, look, look, feisty as anything. And silkies are pretty quiet and they're still feisty. And then he's just sat there, ruffled, feathered, looking fed up. So there you go, there's a little bit of basics on coxidosis. And I found this out because I lost a few birds and one shore. And I sent one off for an autopsy and they said it had coxidosis. It was on a young chick. And it had never been in contact with the outside either. So this just this just comes from the egg. So there you go, yeah, bit of boring information. See you soon.